So today we will uh, speak to you about uh, a little bit of history about the oxidants, uh, um, especially about the wool technology at Fluentech. Uh, it all started in uh, the middle of the 90s, Greg, it was the time that uh, the University of Data Research Institute had to develop a portable technology for uh, better monitoring the life of jet engines uh, from the Gulf, uh, from the Gulf War. And it ended up in the technology who was looking at trending the antioxidants. And then uh, during the next five to seven years, uh, this technology was slowly accepted by the ASTM uh, industry. But the real transition came by the midst of 2000, Greg. Yes, that was, uh, we saw a lot of uh, heavy equipment, a lot of rotating equipment, had a lot of thermal stress. They had a lot of, uh, put a lot of oxidative stress on the oils, and we saw a change in formulations yes. from uh, you know, the group one base stocks yes. to group two base yeah, stocks. Yeah, yeah. And uh, group two base stocks respond beautifully to antioxidants. But uh, they don't have any natural antioxidants in them, so when the antioxidants are gone, they fail really quickly. Yes. So the value of the ruler test was, was critical at that point. Yes, monitoring the antioxidants, individually monitoring antioxidants. And not just looking at one type, but the two types of antioxidants at any time of the life cycle of the lubricant, and in a portable way. It was just uh, astounding. The, need, the industry needed that because you can do your testing in the lab, which is very important, but on site also to save time and cost and make sure that you at any time, you know, the conditions. So we have now this rule of view, uh, working on Wi-Fi and having a real time uh, the data available uh, for all your programs. And then we saw the link suddenly coming up with uh, contamination. Yes, we, we also saw the, the, uh, um, these more thermally stressful environments. The yes. two main failure modes were deposits and varnishes and sludge and, and, uh, and antioxidant depletion. Yep. So a decade or so ago, we started developing the membrane patch colorimetry tests. It's now an ASTM standard, right. and uh, so it's now these. It's, we're at the point where these are the two most critical tests for oils used for rotating equipment. Yes, and that's part of uh, different OEM standards and helping it to better management the availability of the equipment. So the real future is now: uh, how can we make sure that you extend the life of the lubricant? Uh, you make sure you have, you have the right uh, life of the oil, so the, the future will be in hands of uh, possible technologies to boost up the life of the lubricants. Think about adding just uh, one specific type of antioxidant, so it's totally compatible with the base stocks and the oxidation products. So uh, imagine that this is going to be available for uh, end users and making sure that they take the maximum out of uh, their lubricant assets. This is this is the future and where it's going, and it's all uh, has to be monitored and uh, through uh, antioxidant yeah. uh, monitoring. Good. Yeah. So, uh, and then what do we have here, Greg? Well, so we've also developed uh, TestMe, which is uh, antioxidant or it's essentially antioxidant monitoring for us. So for it's us. the ruler for humans. So That's it's, amazing. So please visit fluotech.com to learn as much as you can about uh, how we can measure the antioxidants in your system and in your body. Thank you very much. And if you really want to go to are you, are you bothering them? <laughs> hey, yes, it's still. <laughs>